Welcome to Tarsus in the southern Turkish district of Mersin on the Mediterranean coast. This region has been a meeting point for diverse civilizations and religions for centuries. In this episode I'm going to be following in the footsteps of a saint and discovering the area's natural beauty. With its 6,000-year historical heritage, Tarsus is one of the oldest towns in the world and one of Anatolia's most important faith centers. St. Paul, who had an important role in the spread of Christianity, was born right here. The Apostle visited the region which was part of the ancient Cilicia multiple times during his missionary journeys. It isn't a coincidence that from the 5th century many churches were dedicated to him. Today only one survives, the St. Paul Church, built between the 11th and 12th centuries BC. Hristiyanlık normalde 12 havari ile beraber şu bugünün günümüzde Arap coğrafyasına kısılmış vaziyetteydi. Aziz Paulus sayesinde ve Aziz Paulus'un yolculukları sayesinde Anadolu'nun içleri hatta Yunan Anakarası ve Avrupa'ya da Hristiyanlığı yayılmasını sağlamıştır. Inside this church you can admire the beautiful and well preserved frescoes depicting Jesus, the four evangelists and the Holy Spirit. But there's another place that is even more symbolic, St. Paul's Well, built on the spot where the house he was born in stood. Kuyuda 38 metre derinliğe sahibiz. Yaklaşık olarak 18 ila 20 metre de suya ulaşabiliyoruz burada. İçilen bu suyun şifalı olduğuna inanılıyor. It's a good starting point for pilgrims who want to follow in the apostles' footsteps. This region has great potential for religious tourism, and not only because of its connection with St. Paul. The Esa Behema Arase, or the Seven Sleepers Cave, is 300 square meters wide by 10 meters deep and considered sacred by both Christians and Muslims. It's one of the most visited sites of the region. About 80 kilometers west of Mersini is Silifke. Here you can visit an impressive natural phenomenon, two sinkholes called Jennet and Jehennem, or heaven and hell. At depths of 70 and 128 meters respectively, they were formed by the collapse of cave ceilings from chemical erosion caused by an underground stream thousands of years ago. Look at what Mother Nature has done in this incredible place. Have you ever been to the depths of the earth? If not, I'll take you with me. The Heaven Sinkhole can be easily explored. Visitors can go down its 450 steps to reach the center of the cave. That's a lot of steps, sure, but look at what you can find inside. This small Byzantine chapel was built at the mouth of this cave in the 5th century and dedicated to the Virgin Mary. It seems that there was once a temple for Pan in the same spot. Roma dönemindeki burada bilinen dünya dünyada bilinen tek pan tapınağı olduğu düşünülüyor arkeoloji olarak bir kabul var. The hell sink hole is deeper but its opening is smaller so the only people who can access the bottom are professional mountaineers. A glass viewing terrace has been built to make observation easier for the rest of us. This region is full of sites of natural beauty. The Göksu Delta, where the Göksu River meets the Mediterranean, is a basin of 15,000 square kilometers and it's one of the few places in the world where birds stop during their migration. It's home to rare and endangered species. This wild and windy wetland is one of 18 special environmental protection areas in Turkey. Approximately 350 bird species stop here to break their journey across the Levant. Göksu Deltası'nın kuşlar için önemli olmasının başlıca sebeplerinden bir tanesi göç yolları üzerinde olması ve e, özellikle flamingolar açısından e, Göksu Delta, e, Göksu Irmağı'nın taşıdığı alevyonlu su yani buralara e, küçük kanallar vasıtasıyla e, taşınan suda ki flamingolar için beslenme açısından oldukça zengin besinlerin olması ve diğer kuşlar için de ayrıca e, besin yönünden zengin olması the Göksu Delta has been declared as one of the most important bird sanctuaries in the Middle East and Europe by the International Council for the Protection of Birds. If you are into bird watching, this is definitely a place to visit. From mystic places to natural paradises, I can really say that during this trip in the southern part of Turkey, I've seen heaven with my own eyes. Görüşürüz!